So I've snuck my way into a couple of uh, the corners of a couple of Channel 9 videos that have either been posted or will be posted. Uh, I am Josh Ledgard, and I work on the Developer Division Customer Connection Team. Yeah. Um, so what we do, uh, we do, we have two main missions. Uh, the first mission is uh, setting the vision for community integration in Visual Studio. Um, I think you'll see some demos of that soon. There's already some blog posts that came out yesterday with the previews of the co content download um, that we'll have. And the second mission we have is all about uh, getting internal teams to connect with customers, hence the customer connection uh, team, and setting up processes and sites that you know, allow them to do this easily. So you know, one of the things that, that came out of our team is the Product Feedback Center uh, that you've seen, you've seen demos of. And we've got some other projects like that lined up that we're working on. Cool. So what do you have to show us today? Um, so what I wanted to show today was uh, just some cool examples of, at least in my opinion, some community uh, integration that's uh, not officially part of the product today, but that developers could use that uh, sort of give you an idea of where things could be going uh, with Visual Studio. Um, so the first one I wanted to show is this website called uh, pinvoke.net. Um, so if you know uh, what pinvoke stands for, it's sort of uh, how you call native methods uh, from managed code. Um, so when you call a native method, you always have to declare it, and you have to figure out what the right variables are to declare it, what the signature is for the method when you use it in managed code. And sometimes that's a pain. Sometimes you can find the right uh, signature. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you guess. Sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes it doesn't work. Um, and the goal of this site is to help people with that. And I, I think I said uh, Adam Nathan on the .NET team uh, is actually the one who built this site. Um, and what it is is a list of uh, DLLs, desktop functions on the side, and we can search for them. Uh, so let's actually run a search for send message. Uh, instantaneous this time. Uh, so pick one of the send message calls. And this main page here is actually just a wiki page. So uh, it's laid out, that there's a template to all these wiki pages. There's the c -sharp signature, the DLL import statement, and the uh, message, uh, message call, the VB signature, uh, any notes, tips and tricks, sample code that might exist, alternative API, um, just sort of giving people a template uh, to how they could edit it. This isn't a very interesting one because uh, there's not any sample code or tips and tricks provided. Um, but I mean, the idea is any developer can just come in here add sample code, add tips and tricks in the wiki, and just end up saving it, um, and put this into this, you know, documentation that they've got here. Um, now that, that web, the website's cool enough as a resource, but what Adam Nathan did to go all out is if we switch to Visual Studio over here, and we need to make a uh, pinvoke call, let's say insert pinvoke signature. send message, do, do, do. find that one that we're looking at right there, and say insert this, and you'll see it's actually just inserted the signature right there inside Visual Studio. Wow, that's really cool. Um, and it, because it grabs it, they've got web services that expose the different templatized sections of the wiki. Uh, so you can imagine that if you, you could take this uh, a little bit further, uh, if there was sample code, you could insert the sample code if you wanted to beneath it. If there's a tip and tr tips and tricks, you can have that inserted as comments above your code automatically and just have it there. Uh, and the other thing is it's about sharing too. So if I wanted, if I wrote a new signature and I wanted to share it, I can also contribute uh, to the wiki. And this web service just lets me contribute just by, um, a u I give it a username and I say upload and it sends it to the right place, parsing the, the, the signature that I sent And this it. is live right now? This is live right now. You can go to pinvoke.net. You can download the add-in for Visual Studio 2003, and you can use this today wow. uh, for inserting signatures. That's really cool. It's, it's, it's really cool. I love, the, I love the concept of people collaborating on sample code to help find answers. I mean, something that developers always tell us is like, it's like just need more sample code, more sample code. It's like the lifeblood of, of, so, of some of the developer ecosystem. And uh, something like this that lets anyone go and contribute but also find specifically what they're after is, is I think, a really, cool, uh, a really cool thing to play with. And you can imagine if we had this exposed for, you know, maybe the entire .NET library, uh, just, you know, in addition to our documentation, a section where anybody can go and, and edit that kind of, that kind of information uh, right alongside it. Cool. Um, 
second thing is not actually written by someone at Microsoft, which makes it even cooler, um, is uh, one of our MVPs, uh, Roy Oshirov, uh, wrote uh, the regulator. I don't know if you've uh, seen this tool. So the regulator is a tool for editing, writing, regular expressions. Okay. Um, I found uh, th there's not very good support in Visual Studio today for this type of stuff, and I, I needed to write a regular expression um, for a little project I was working on, and I was just needed to break apart a URL. I knew nothing about uh, regular expressions. I didn't care to try and learn too much about regular expressions at the time because it's a pretty, uh, you can get in depth uh, with regular expressions. Um, and so this tool, uh, he recommended that I try out this thing that he wrote. Uh, he you know, lays it out kind of like Visual Studio, which of course always has an appeal to me. There's floating tool windows. Uh, it's written in .NET. And you can pin things, you know, move them to the side, pull them out. Uh, I love the imitation uh, form of flattery uh, concept of uh, things like that. Uh, but this is also hooked up to a, an online uh, site called RegExlib. So what I did, and I already ran this, but I'm just going to run it again. So I ran a search for URL, uh, queried the service, and I got back a bunch of results here, specifically RegExes. Um, the UI is a little cluttered, but let's just say I picked this first one. Um, it comes with sample input over here, where I've got the, the stuff highlighted. And uh, if I run it, patch, it goes and tests the output right here on the bottom. So it does the matching that it was looking for, parameter 1, 2, 5 is the www, it's a .com, there's a and the 8103 port on the end of it and just splits up the URL. Um, that, I view this as very similar. Uh, the websites, uh, it's not a wiki, but people can upload their own regex files uh, to this web, to regexlib. Uh, let's pull up that site. This is, this is completely run by customers. It's out here today. You can search, find different regex files. They have ratings. They give the top contributors over here. They've got RSS feeds for recent patterns or recent comments that people leave about the, about the regex. Uh, files that are there. Uh, all pretty cool stuff, all again in sort of that very specific, I need a, a regex thing that does foo. I search for it, I find the description, I can see ratings, uh, and I can just try it out and play with it and put it in my code right away. That's uh, really neat. Which is really cool. Um, those are the, I mean, that, that's the type of app that, you know, really gets, gets uh, me excited. Kind of, this kind of stuff, especially by customers, is what made me uh, want to start the, the Power Toys blog, just to show that there's this whole world of customers out here doing really cool stuff with our, with our uh, platform and enabling developers to be more productive. Uh, you know, 